so good morning everyone it's rainy now but this will be the start of our epic road trip we're gonna make throughout Europe we're right now we are in Belgium France is on the list Spain is on the list Andorra is on the list we're gonna see a lot and we just woke up at a friend's place we're gonna check a castle somewhere nearby we don't know anything about it but yeah we're gonna check it out whether it is possible we don't know but we will see the car keys over here well I'm gonna give them to you actually we haven't showed this to them the but we, we actually right now we will be with our friends car but we actually bought an own car for this road trip and yeah as you can tell it's a cabriolet so the roof can detach and when it's sunny you nice and everything driving. in Spain we will just be chilling in this car and just yeah, this will be the start of an epic road trip like I said so this is our friend's place a very nice old Belgian farmhouse it's completely renovated everywhere they're keeping animals old timer as well I really love this one hey Moortje <laughs> This is just a place we wanted to see from the outside. From the inside, it's completely emptied out, but apparently uh, the property from the outside is magnificent. So for Belgium, this property is really a one of a kind, at least from the outside. It's such a bummer that the inside is completely emptied out but just wanted to show it to you it's a piece of architecture and it's just a grand property from the outside it already pops up here behind all the trees wow you can tell that people have been working here It's definitely more of a French style instead of a Belgian style. Wow, what a facade. Well, this was the front garden. You can also see the fountain over there. But have a look here at the facade. It's definitely built in Renaissance style. You can tell by the arches and there. Also these symbols and the carvings inside of them. Wow, imagine owning such a stately property like this. Beautiful. But like I said, from the inside, there is not very much architectural aspects to point out and it's mostly just empty. Why is there a chair here in the middle? Sometimes you really ask why these properties became abandoned but this is definitely probably an issue because of money because imagine it's not only the cost of just inhabiting this property and maintaining it like all the renovation costs but also imagine all the electricity, gas, water costs for such a big property it's very hard to keep that nice and warm, especially in the winters. Right over there, we actually had a pool. <laughs> Even the chairs over there, they're like these old stone chairs. Oh, they're actually, they are familiar with the chairs we have seen inside of a castle in France. 
I will put a link right up here. But these chairs were not standing outside, they were just standing inside. But those were those uh, shell chairs. They were really unique, I want to have a closer look. Oh yeah, it's such a shame, I can already see that they're full of moss. And they've been decaying, just taking over by nature. But there they are. This is the closest I actually can get with my lens. I hope you are able to see the similarities. So yeah, that was just a quickie I really wanted to show you. And right over now, we actually... I think we're gonna enter it, right? Yeah, just enter it. But the inside... It's like complete construction. What is really cool is you have the staircase and literally the floor underneath it, it's gone. They demolished it. Only the staircase is literally in the sky. Are you still able to walk inside? Well, as you can tell, that's the walk over this. <laughs> we really gotta watch a step. <laughs> it's a construction site. But they're not constructing anymore, right? No, they stopped. No. As you can tell, I mean, this machinery doesn't look like it's still working. Anymore. It's very unfinished. Yeah. Where are we walking, man? <laughs> oh my, this is just one big room from the inside. It's literally one big room, nothing else. It's actually very funny how from the outside the property still looked relatively good, but from the inside... Yeah. <laughs> the staircase is just gone, man. I think you gotta lift me up, it's the only way. It's the only way, well, I wouldn't walk over there. No way, I will. <laughs> My, there, the floor over there is not even present anymore. <laughs> Crazy. It's literally like from the outside, one of the most majestic properties we've seen in Belgium. Yet from the inside, it's literally I like a storage for constructing workers. I mean... <laughs> but then, out of all the constructions, why is there a child bicycle? This place is so random, I mean from the outside you would definitely not think it looks like this from the inside. It's just a construction site, but this bicycle is very strange. There was a saloon, man. A saloon? Well... There's a lot of work to fix. I really have no clue, but it was definitely a very time investing and also money investing job. Can you imagine how many people have worked over here? <laughs> At least they are still trying to prevent this place from collapsing. Yeah, that's one thing for sure. But the main stays over here. If you pull these, then the complete building will collapse. Yeah, probably. Actually, these stones on the ceiling, they look more recent. So I think they were definitely starting or they have built there recently, but I think there's still not sufficient amount of funds to realize everything. Well, we gotta go back over this brick maze. Equipment. Struggle is real. So we're gonna walk back to the car now and after that we need to upload our video to YouTube. That's also something we have to do to keep you guys all entertained and then we will explore one other house today. And maybe one other but we have to look how much time we have. I think over here was the way to go.
All right, coast is safe, like we say. The coast is safe. Yeah. The coast is safe, man. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. S'il vous plaît, monsieur. Just fairly. So, we are back at our friend's place, and right now we gotta make sure to upload the video. So, time to continue again with exploring. Yeah, and we're gonna do one other house. <laughs> That's my bag. In the mini car, man. The mini car. The Fiat 500. Yes. All right, let's navigate to the place, man. Yes. Curious. So, I'm gonna grab something to eat. Time for some lunch. Mm. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Love. First bite. So, how was the, the sandwich, Raymond? Well, I uh, ordered uh, tuna and uh, tuna. Yeah, tuna. <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, it said spicy, but you know, I, I don't like really spicy, spicy. But it was, you know, I thought it was a little bit spicy. But eventually, the only thing she had left was wasabi. <laughs> so she literally filled the sandwich with wasabi. My mouth is burning. It's, it's literally burning. I just ate a complete sandwich filled with wasabi. So, but it was good. <laughs> it was good to be honest. But eventually, my stomach is feeling uh, <laughs> burnt. <laughs> my mouth is uh, burning also. But I'm filled. I fair feel, enough. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, now we go on to the next floor and. Uh, Let's go, let's see where we end up. So there we are. The standing. first episode in the rain of this epic road trip. Standing in front of this beautiful farmhouse. Well, we assume that it must have been a farmhouse and currently we're looking for an entrance. As you can tell, I have my bag over here. We don't know anything about it to be honest. So yeah, you can definitely tell that it is abandoned but we don't have a clue where we exactly have to go. And it's, yeah, it's raining. Well, not so badly, but still. <laughs> Imagine the contrast, because now it's very rainy, but in a few days we will just be chilling in the sun somewhere. Yeah. At so a random place. Well, hmm, all right. Looks like people have walked here at least. Yeah, that's one thing for sure, but. Well, we will see, man. There is a door. I think that one is open. Yeah. Oh yeah, over there. All right. Well, all yours, man. Oh. oh. Damn, spiders. <laughs> all right. Sounds like some leakage problems. Yes, indeed. And um, yeah, there's goers with fresh spiders above us, but wow. The roof is leaking, man. I mean, I think this place is gonna be a great explore. A lot of decay already, but sadly enough, a lot of leakage too. Have a look over here. It was a bathroom with a bathtub. There is a lot of dead spiders inside of here. Yeah. Man, <laughs> this place is literally left to decay.
Well, the leakage problem is very heavy over here. What did you say? The leakage problem is very heavy. Yes, yeah. like I told you, you can see the drops literally everywhere in the ceiling. Man. Very sad. Yeah. The table What's here. this? Was this a power room? Yeah. A little side room or something. Damn. Actually, this is very special. What? Yeah, just the location. I mean, with all the leakage and just how it looks. Yeah, like I said, it's completely furnished. No vandalism, it's vandalism free. And there's a lot of traces of DK literally spread across the place. I mean, this on our feet right now is literally coming from the ceiling above us. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm actually really curious what's the story of the people who lived there and why it was the house left like this. Yes, indeed. And the then, chairs over here. Indeed. And also with the stick from the old man. All these years, it's actually to do with pig farming. These people used to do a lot of pig farming, but then they did it on a competitional level. So that already tells some story and also explains the name, Big Farm. Big Farm. It yes. makes sense. Indeed. <laughs> and over here, some family pictures. Well, I think, yeah, this was the whole family, but it doesn't look that old on this mm -hmm. picture. And these were definitely the two pe people that lived inside of here. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. And uh, the, the elderly couple. Yeah, the woman's name was uh, Gab Gabriel, and the man's name was Ernest. Okay. So yeah. it's actually quite a typical Belgian name, right? Indeed, indeed. And Gabriel yeah, and Ernest. The, the, there is like something above, but it shows the address. But I can tell you, they were 60 years married. Really? Yeah. They were married for 60 years. Married for 60 years. That's an accomplishment in your life. Indeed, indeed. I guess that's because yeah. That's why they have all these family pictures. Well, wow. What do you think of the barrel made over here? It's very detailed. I love it. Damn, I need to say. Huh. Have you seen this? This is actually a certificate from the Kingdom of Belgium. And it was for, for the man, Ernest. Indeed. And also for shooting with a gun, he also had a certificate over here. So he loved shooting, they did a lot of pig farming. Over here, all the metals of the pig farming. Wow. It's actually so sad that these were actually of huge value for him. But right now, they were literally just catching dust and cobwebs and that's all. Nobody cares about them anymore. But I'm really curious now because you can see over here the cobwebs and the spiders and this is the wallpaper and what's behind this door? Well, actually I want to wear my gloves first because it's all wet inside of here but let's try and open it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's opened. But, 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 all right, I'm gonna grab the gloves and we will see you in a while because right over there on the table are like five keys. Oh. We might have some luck on our side. Well, let's put our mask on, gloves on, and let's check it out. All right, so we managed actually to get the door open. So, gloves, mask for the black Tell mold. the story behind it, Raymond. Well, well, it was pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> well, what tell clumsy. the story behind, it? Ah, behind the door? Yeah, that was pretty clumsy. I'm sorry. Well, there were five keys over here, what I told, and I was checking with all the keys but i was pushing and then we went back to check if there was really no entrance and moreno pulled the door once and it was opened all so the time. instead of pulling it he pushes it so it just needed to pull the door and it opened that, that is, was uh, all pretty clumsy I'm so sorry. good news we can show the rest of the house but Indeed. first we're gonna scan the cabinets yeah well i actually first want to get over here okay you see this yeah it's, it's actually to do with agriculture and with plants. Damn. Well, and then open up 
This I thought one? there were some DVDs and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's completely full. Also some old cassette records. The books right underneath it. It's so strange how everything is still stuffed. And then the, the state of this place, I mean, mold. And if I open this up, <laughs> you can see it right over there. Yeah, it's very, very dirty, everything. Well, I can open this one up like this, but I can't do it any further. Just some kitchen tools, like you can see. Yeah. I mean. Well, I'm gonna close it again and try to fix it up. All right, yes, like that. <laughs> and never open it up again. <laughs> Man, there's even a medicine chef with everything. I mean, all the medicines of them are still inside. Water is not running anymore. No. This is actually one of those gondolas, you know, which are in Venice. Italy. Sponge. <laughs> Everything is so, so moldy. It's actually some liquor and also some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Fryer. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Still uh, like frying oil inside. Indeed, indeed. Crazy. Water boiler. No <laughs> water inside of that one though. No, no. Well, damn. You can tell that this hasn't been open for a very long time. Well, just one mug and some plates. Indeed. What's actually inside of these ones? I see a lot of kitchen equipment. Completely full. Everything is so rusty and yeah, just only because of the water leakage. Man, cutlery still completely stuffed. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> all the pots and pans. Mm -hmm. This place is untouched, man. I yeah, mean, this is really crazy. Untouched. Concerning the state of DK, it's really crazy. <laughs> Oh damn, that was hard. Oh, there's even spiders. spiders. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we can literally open up everything, but it's just completely stuffed. I think we're not going to open the trash bin. I mean, <laughs> it's quite repulsive. Just leave that, yeah. Well, and over here is the door. So this time, pull it and it will just open without any further ado. <laughs> <laughs> so then this was the hallway. A huge red carpets. I think this mirror was hanging up here, you see? Oh yeah. yeah. It's just fallen down and right above our head. There's also thick cobwebs. Well, give this door a try. Yeah, we can. Hmm. Closed. It's closed, yeah. You see all the parts of the mirror right over there, but also over here was also a part of the mirror on the ground. It actually was a beautiful home back in its days. And I'm really wondering wh where the occupants went. And what happened? Oh, there's even wine still in the basement. It's probably a lot of cobwebs though. Well, you want to go first? Strange. <laughs> mo, 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 watch this your step, fluided. watch your step. <laughs> yeah, this is completely fluted. I mean, walking here, it's completely fluted. Like you can tell, it's one big river. But have a look, all their products and everything are still in the shells. That's actually so fascinating to see, don't you think? Yeah. It's really cool. Even the fridge and the freezer, all the products, and nobody will ever be able to reach them anymore unless they are draining all the water from this place. But no, I'm not walking in here. Have a look. It's completely <laughs> covered with water. Yeah. Want to get out of here? Well, and then we 
come to the most beautiful part. Oh, this was the living of them, huh? Yeah. It's actually typical Belgium, so beautiful. Yeah. You always remember the Belgium homes. And also for some reason, don't you think they always smell the same? <laughs> Maybe it's because of the decay, but yeah. No, but these Belgium homes have a typical abandoned smell. Yeah, true, true, true. It's not like the French ones. No. I don't know why, but it's true. Well. 2008, the calendar is saying. Indeed, indeed, that was what I was about to say. So over here was some paperwork, okay. Yeah, it has to do with something with medical. And over here, also so many stuff left. This is gone. Yeah, this was the case of a glasses smear, but glasses have been stolen, I think, or they replaced somewhere else. Indeed. Well, I think over here are some pretty personal files, so yeah. we shouldn't point out that. What was actually inside of this cabinet? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. So it's actually a secretary desk. Yeah. Well. But I didn't expect that it would open like that. I think that one is stuck or locked. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna force it, otherwise I will break it. <laughs> That's very special. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Have a look how satisfying this looks, how it closes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so 2008, that's 12 years. 12 years of abandonment. And from the outside, you would not tell, but from the inside, I mean, it's full of mold, also the carpet. Yeah. And the plants. <laughs> wow. That looks like a hobbit house in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Actually, a very detailed painting. With a beautiful cover too. And actually all these seats and also the couch are from leather. So you can tell that these are not abandoned abandoned, you know? They are not moldy or Yeah, exactly. Not destroyed. Except for this one. Yeah. Slight presence of mold. And then right over here are some jackets. I actually really like the hanger but it's also collapsing a little bit. Some scarves, a jacket. I think this was from Ernest. And then in the middle, also the table. Have a look. There's even this thing if somebody turns 50 years old. Oh yeah. Happy birthday. Well, they were 60 years married, so. <laughs> it's from a long time ago. Someone definitely. Yeah. Or maybe a friend of them. Yeah, well. And that you also saw that painting over there. That's actually the property from an aerial view, right? Well, I think so at least. Oh no, it's not. It's another property. Maybe another property they owned, but I'm not sure. But it's definitely in Belgium, like you can tell by the landscape. Yeah. So this would have actually been their main door. But you can tell <laughs> hasn't been entered for <laughs> throughout 12 years. It's crazy to imagine that one day people used to walk inside each and every day inside the hallway over here. But right now it's just left neglected and just left to decay and left to rot. Okay, so we're gonna walk upstairs. Making our way. Wow. Have a look at the webs between the banister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also that one over there leading to the lamp. That's a long web. <laughs> Leading to the top. You remember these ones from Italy? Yeah. Actually used to store wine. Indeed, indeed. This one is actually pretty cool. And then actually over here, let's just respectfully brush our feet, our shoes. <laughs> and let's see. Wow. I mean, this is so beautiful. It's literally pristinely left. 
Yes. And <laughs> the mod the furniture is quite modern. It looks like, huh? I mean, hmm. retro style. Yeah, definitely retro vibes here, man. Oh, there are still an old currency inside. Yeah, for real? Yeah, man, there are coins. Have a look. Yeah, this is the old Belgian currency. Francs. The francs, the old currency of Belgium. In funk. <laughs> well, over here, you can already guess it. No way. Everything is left behind. Everything. And this is real fur. Man. Unbelievable. In such a state of disrepair. Yes. But still all the clothes are left behind. Have never been donated to the people. Which it's, it's a crazy need all this, this stuff. But just cannot afford it. Also a fur, a real hat. fur hat. Damn. Close that one up. And then, yeah. Oh, what is this? Well, luckily I'm wearing gloves, but... Oh, that's a wig. <laughs> that's a wig, man. <laughs> so we had some bald man in here. Yeah. This is definitely from a man. Crazy. And then also all the jackets. All the gentle blazers. This was definitely from the man. Yeah, for sure, man. And actually right behind you, there is also an old pair of glasses. And even more pills. Also have a look at the alarm clock over here. The time. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm. I want to switch it, you know? Well, at least I can still turn this, but... I okay. really love the picture, the photo over yeah. there. Was this picture taken at her marriage or during a communion, you think? Well, I think a communion, I mean... You see this? Oh yeah. That's what they used to hold. The Bible and the rosary. Indeed. Would there actually still be something in these shells? No. No, these are empty. Oh, that was hard. Some freshener, air freshener. And this is also empty. And over here? What's that? <laughs> Some fibers. Yeah. And another pair of reading glasses. So over here is actually a vanity. Yeah. And I guess this was um, for the woman to like do put on the makeup. Yeah, yeah. Do all her brooming. <laughs> Some fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then let's see. Mm, not so many things left, actually. It's strange how the other wardrobe was filled with clothes. Yeah, and these are all empty. Well, except oh, for this one. A cigar box. <laughs> Bunny and Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie it is saying, this was the cigar box of Ronnie. Hmm. Maybe it was a friend of them. Maybe a diseased person they knew. Yeah, indeed. There's also some letters over here, some belts. And some newspapers. I'm gonna see this one. All right, I'm gonna place this back. Let's see the date on this one. It's in 2000. Oh, okay. Still black and white. Yeah. Crazy, man. It's only two years after we were born. Yeah, indeed, <laughs> indeed. All right. Okay. 
original purse. But everything is just so demolished. You think it has been looted? Well, I think so, yeah. Because this normally is for jewelry. Yeah, I think so too. This was in it, but it's gone. Everything. All right, well, let's go on, man. Over here, also the cute curtains. Well, wait. <laughs> oh, there's actually a denture. <laughs> and you see it? It's a fake teeth. Oh, yeah. Right in the corner. <laughs> so actually, right on the opposite side was another bedroom. Oh. Damn, that is pretty cool. I think this was from the child. Yeah. So I think they had one child. I mean, it looks pretty modern. Don't you think? The bed sheet? Yeah, and especially for 2008, I mean, you can definitely see Ooh. traces of black moles. That's why we are wearing our masks. Yeah, we definitely need a mask inside of here and we shouldn't be too long in here. No. So quickly, just open a few shells. Well, yeah. People get the point, I mean. There's an umbrella. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, it's chalk. Uh, chalk, yeah. Soap over here. Yeah. And some personal files again. What's this? Also fur. Hmm. Well, I'm just quickly gonna do it. Belts. Yeah. Just clothing. Some well, underwear. Yeah, so this must have been from a woman, I guess. Oh! Look! This is the one from the picture. Oh wow! The rosary. Yeah, she was literally holding this one. Man, do you think so? Yeah, it exactly looks the same. Wow. Well, let's put it carefully back where we found that one. I think it has a lot of memories. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you pointed it out yet. But look. Yeah, do you know that woman actually used to wear these ones as a scarf? Yeah. Back was, in a certain uh, time era, it was very popular. Like a symbol. Isn't it? Um, it was more like an ornament for them okay. to wear it. Sort of fashion yeah. during that days. Well, and you can tell that this was from a woman. They always have a lot of clothes. Oh yeah, you can see that. Yeah, furthermore, it's just completely stuffed again. Very sad that people just walked away and just... It seems that they just disappeared into the blue. Yeah. And never returned. Well, indeed, some underskirts. And I can't walk over here, but you can. Again, over here, just an alarm clock and everything. And I think this one is also just full of clothes. Again, So strange that the clothes are just all left and then some of the cabinets are just... To be honest, I don't think that the burglars and thieves care about the clothes because no. they're not that worthy and valuable for them. No, they only care about not. quick money, you know? Indeed, jewelry. Indeed, jewelry. And it's sad that people in this world are like that. I mean, in a place like this, especially when it's such in a decaying state, you just leave it like you found it. Well, this must have been the last room then. A bathroom, I think. Oh no, it's a side room. Well, a lot of cobwebs, so I'm just going to do an overview. But this was just like a room for some additional storage. Is there another room? Or yeah. just another storage part? Yeah, this is also a storage part. Oh yeah. Also full of cobwebs, by the way. So unfortunately here, also on this floor, we wanted to show you these rooms. They seem to be very beautiful, but they're all just closed. We tried out all the keys, but doesn't seem to be working. And it's the same story for this one over here. Also completely stuck and we never break or force anything. Even though we really badly want to see what's behind this door and show it to you. Whew, man. That was it for another explore. Yeah, indeed. Let's put our masks and... It was such a bummer that we could not enter these two rooms. Yeah, 
But besides that, I mean, this house, we told each other, again, a gem in Belgium, because there are so many DK, so much DK, but still so many things left behind, which is definitely showing the respect of the Belgian people to these places. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you just look at the leakage over here, you can still hear it on camera. It's yeah. very, very heavy. This place can literally collapse any moment, but still, everything is pristine and left like the people just finished yesterday. It's so amazing. in the end, we really hope you did enjoy watching. And if you did, you know the drill guys, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Also ring the bell notification button, and then we will see you on our next adventure doing these epic road trips. Peace, Peace out. out.